Hello everyone, I'm Nancy Byrne with your City Update. As we continue to recognize Fire Prevention Week, we have another fire safety tip to pass along to you. The theme this year is learning the sounds of fire safety. Now, according to the latest statistics gathered nationally, working smoke alarms reduce the risk of dying in a home fire by 55%. That is why it is so important to not only make sure your smoke alarm is operating, but has fresh batteries at all times. Make sure you know the difference in the sounds the alarms make. Beeps typically indicate a smoke or carbon monoxide warning. If you hear that, you need to immediately leave your home and head to a spot already designated as the meeting place for your family. Chirps, and yes, we know they are annoying, usually mean the batteries are getting low. Now, while the temptation may be to just yank the batteries out of the detector to stop the chirping, please take a moment to change those batteries instead. It could save your life or the life of a loved one. For more information, you can go to NFPA.org and click on Learn the Sounds of Fire Safety. If you don't have working smoke alarms in your home and you can't afford them, Las Vegas Fire and Rescue will install them for free. You may call 702-229-0366 for more information on that program. Tickets are available for Rainbow Company Youth Theater's production of The Never-Ending Story. The nationally renowned company presents the performance October 8th through the 10th at Charleston Heights Arts Center, which is located at 800 South Brush Street. All current COVID-19 safety protocols will be followed. Audience members are asked to wear a mask. By the way, this is the company's 45th season. The season will also bring The Velveteen Rabbit, Still Life with Iris, and Matilda the Musical. For tickets and more information about this event and others, you can visit artslasvegas.org or call 229-ARTS. You can check out our beautiful city on the small screen. CSI Vegas airs Wednesday night at 10 o'clock on CBS. They pulled several film permits from the city and filmed several days in the downtown area for this episode. It's always exciting to see familiar spots in the city on national television, even if the premise behind the show is solving crimes. Finally, Las Vegas Aces, we are cheering you on. The Aces play Wednesday night against the Mercury. Aces fell to Mercury Sunday night, giving the Phoenix team a two to one lead in the WNBA semifinals. The Aces must win in the Wednesday game or go home. That is it for this city update. Be safe out there and go Aces. We'll see you right back here for the next city update.